Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in this video lecture I am going to explain the example of a biased clamper circuitry where you can see that a diode is connected in series with the plus 5 volt battery and here is the capacitor uh, its value is equal to 1 microfarad and then later on we will see that what is the magnitude of the output voltage waveform as well as uh, what is the value of the tau in this circuitry. Fine. So we know that we start the analysis of the clamper circuit with that portion of the input voltage waveform where the diode will be forward biased. So if you will uh, start the analysis with the plus 10 volt voltage you can see that the cathode voltages will be equal to 10 volts okay while the anode is held at the positive 5 volt potential and anode to cathode voltages will be equal to minus 5 volt which will be actually reverse biasing the diodes that why that's why we will not consider the positive cycle initially we will start the analysis with the negative cycle of the input voltages and you can see that anode is at 5 volt while the cathode is at minus 20 volt so that's why anode to cathode potential will be equal to plus 25 volts positive and the diode will be forward biased in that case okay when the diode will be forward biased it will be replaced with a short circuitry and the current path can be defined like that so let's replace the diode with a short circuitry and here the plus 5 volt battery is connected And you can clearly see the capacitor will charge to the peak voltages. Fine. Since we are measuring the output parallel to this diode and the battery series combination, that's why you can see that V out will be equal to approximately equal to plus 5 volt since the diode is short circuited and only voltages will be the battery voltages fine but if you replace the diode with the 0.7 volt battery then V out will be equal to 4.3 volt but right now since we are assuming the ideal diode model so that's why V out will be equal to plus 5 volt. I will draw the output corresponding to the input voltages over here. So this is plus 5 volt, this is minus 20 volts, sorry it's plus 10 volts basically. So for the negative half cycle what we are getting, we are just getting the 5 volts at the output side constant voltages fine now assume that or let's determine when the diode is forward biased what is the value of the VC voltages or the capacitor voltages fine since the capacitor will charge with the same polarity uh, of the voltages that are connected across its terminal so you can apply the KVL and you can see that plus 20 volts minus VC plus 5 volt is equal to 0 so that's why 25 volts minus VC is equal to 0 and this implies that VC or the capacitor voltages will be equal to 25 volts or capacitor will be charged to 25 volts why because 20 volts are present at the cathode and 5 volts are present at the anode and the overall effect at the in the capacitor charging will be equal to 25 volts fine so these are the capacitor voltages during the charging now let's see when the positive cycle arrives then in that case or at that time capacitor uh, diode will be reverse biased and it can be replaced with, a, with an open circuitry fine and in that case we have to determine the V out C 
since when plus 10 volts arrive then the diode is reverse biased that's why by applying the kvl again we can see minus 10 volt minus 25 volts plus v out is equal to 0 volt or in other words v out will be equal to 35 volts now so when plus 10 volt is present you can see or you will see plus 35 volt voltages are coming so this is the value of the output voltages that you will see 35 volts and here it's equal to plus 5 volts so you can see peak to peak is actually equal to 35 minus 5 volt 30 volts which is similar to the peak to peak value of the input voltage 10 minus minus 20 volts 30 volts so peak to peak value of the clamper circuit actually didn't change it just shifted up our input voltage by adding the DC reference level in it okay now let's evaluate the value of the tau so tau is equal to RC R is equal to 100 kilo ohms in this case and C is equal to 1 micro farad so tau comes out to be equal to be 10 milliseconds fine and the total discharging time is equal to 5 times of tau which is equal to 50 milliseconds. Okay, we know that or we claim that the better clamping action is performed when the time period of the input voltage waveform is very very small as compared to the discharging time of the capacitor.